<coughs> Yo, what's up, y'all? Another edition of Zenny Reacts. <coughs> oh, god damn. Sorry about that. Alright. We're reacting to more Candyman promo. And yeah, he won his fight. And everyone, and I've been getting a lot of views on uh, my reaction to uh, his other stuff, so I figured I'd do another one. If you're wondering why the room has suddenly become wet and there's a dolphin, it's because Sam Hyde has joined us. How you doing, my friend? Oh, I am doing a dolphin. great, lad. I can't wait. I don't get I've got that. me Irish knives concealed in me hand wraps. I'm ready to go to town on this boy, Irish style. You're very intense, and I'm a bit worried. Um, how you feeling tonight? Oh, I feel perfect. I feel amazing. I feel fantastic. I feel like a smorgasbord of treats and goodies at Willy Wonka's own factory. You are very intense and scary. Oh! Joe, I he flinched. Didn't flinch. <laughs> I flinched. He didn't flinch because he's been no, no, fighting on the show. He's been flinched. Ah. Wonka's own factory. You are very intense and scary. Oh! Joe, I he flinched. Flinch. I flinched. <laughs> he didn't flinch because he's been no, no, fighting didn't on flinch. the show. He's been fighting on the show, fighting KSI. Um, Sam, any predictions for your fight tonight? <laughs> oh, I think it's going to be over quick. I'm going to bust him in the soft spot of his head like a coconut cream pie. You know how babies have a soft spot on their head? Yes. And it usually closes up. He doesn't. His didn't close up. <laughs> I'm going to bop him on top of the head buff like a him. coconut custard and watch the ears squash up. <laughs> bop him. What happens after this fight? Who do you go for next? After this fight, there's only one name I'm concerned with. <laughs> you know him. <laughs> Maybe you don't, but if it's Hassan Piker! I'M GOING TO KILL YOU! <laughs> the zone does not condone the death. At all. Sorry, just had to put that out there. Legal. Corporate reminder. Joe, you got anything to comment on? I'm just enjoying this. I think, honestly, this is what we need in this industry. Yeah. Too many people with straight faces, and then you got this bloke. Crazy boy, and I love it! Oh, I thank you, lad. There'll be a special place for you in heaven, in the candy heaven when I ascend. I'll make sure there's candy <laughs> women. Candy heaven. This. But jewels for you there, because I control candy heaven. Any plans before the fight? <laughs> any rituals and stuff? Candy Jesus. My oh, off in front. That's my top secret blend of Papa's candy sprinkles and gumdrops. I can't be telling you my rituals. And I never ask an Irishman his rituals. <laughs> he won't tell you the truth. He'll only feed you lies. <laughs> very worrying. If I was uh, uh, so now, I'd be very worried. Do you think he has any any tricks up his sleeve? You know, he's been very chilled. Oh, Mr. Thompson, I don't think he's. I know he's got heavy hands. I know he's a big man. I know he's a big lad. But you'll see when I wallop him with his candy canes here. We'll see how his sweet <laughs> his tooth candy goes. canes. I love sweets, but not those kind of sweets. Indeed, lad, they're not for you. You wouldn't be able to stomach them. <laughs> I suddenly questioned myself as a strong man. Well, thank you, bro. We need you to go get ready for your fight. Thank you so much for coming through. Thank you, lads. Take care. Have a good one. Take care. Thank you, lads. My is hurting. I'm scared. I know, but anyway, <laughs> here's a reminder of what's coming your way tonight. Bruh. Hey, business today compared to the left like a dog. The, 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 the fucking candy man, bro. Look at this dude. To happen to influencer. Impressive. Walking over the top ropes. He's wearing the black trunks. They don't get a copyright strike for this. Don't give me a copyright strike for this. You know that Hassan Piker! I'm coming to kill you! No, in real life. In real life. Oh, they didn't do the whole thing. Weak. Oh yeah, he fucking... He can cuss that man, bro. He's oh, someone already made a pick. Yeah. Real with Sam Hyde. Well, all right. Straight out of the 80s. I've seen you in the movie. What's it, Breaking? Breaking. Radio Raheem. Breaking. I'm breaking jaws here. Oh, oh, no. Listen, man, that was a more difficult match maybe than you had anticipated. I had no fucking idea what a real fight was like, <sighs> to be honest with you, sir. <laughs> I thought it would be all rainbows and candy canes and corn. And corn. This fucking was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> what was the toughest part of the night? Just some stamina. Just 
keeping my uh not blowing through my stamina which i did which i did you saw uh -huh. i was breathing heavy i was out there not as heavy as the other guy though so well talk to me about what you did in uh build up for this fight to keep your stamina good uh, i smoked uh nat sherman's which are a higher quality cigarette they're more expensive but i was able to use survive some of my lung power with that <laughs> and um damn let's see to withhold your chi i withheld my chi i did I, you heard me telling that other gentleman about that that's uh, that's part of the process i read that david hay does that for six weeks i think was it easy was it holding my semen in easy no what do you think <laughs> i was fucking uh <laughs> i was making, every 10 seconds i was telling my girl Make me a porn right now or I'll break up with you. Show me your ass. <laughs> send me send me a video. You know, a guy who <laughs> <laughs> for me now or I'll break up with you. Mm -hmm. Just do a dance. Has made famous his uh, self. Um, who, Tyson Fury? Yeah. He's on the other side of self-care. <laughs> There's various opinions about it. Mm -hmm. Some people do many times. I, I, I tried the seam retention. I tried the retention. I tried Eastern style. I don't think it worked though. I still got tired. <laughs> I still got I mean, tired. So fucking crazy! Oh my god! You're a big guy like Bro. Fury. What do you What do you think now when you see him box, based on well, what you experienced? He's known for his stamina. He's that's insane. I don't I don't understand it. Well, now, you think he doesn't smoke sick? cigarettes and cigars? Yeah. To my knowledge. Are you ready to fight again? When are we gonna see you in the ring? No. Fuck no. The fuck fuck no. Fuck you. I'm out of here. No. I'm come out on. Out of here, Raheem. Come Radio on. Radio Raheem with Sam Hyde. Who is out of here? Never but again. He's going to retire undefeated. That's right. <laughs> I was well done, yeah. sir. Yeah. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it. Thank you, man. Really all right with Sam Hyde. Sam, congratulations. <laughs> uh, brilliant win. Put on the fucking costume. Thank you, brother. I just feel the relief. I feel the I feel the breeze of the Isles of Inishmore and Inishman washing over me. I feel like I'm wearing a cozy sweater made from the Aran Isles. What about the fight? <laughs> you you look good in there. You were roll, you're rolling some of the shorts. You I clearly have power. My best. I tried my best, lad. It's fucking crazy though, having someone swing at your head as hard as they can. It's crazy. Was that actually his yeah, first fight? I thought you fought before. We <laughs> were done. Oh yes, we did. Maybe his first professional, but he definitely like smart and stuff. So. Walking to the ring, and when you threw the first shot, and when you took a shot, just describe me how it felt. I was just not. Uh, I refused to lose at that point. I was walking the walk out. I knew that I had to do what I had to do, like a good Irish boy. I had to go. I had to go get mum's the sheep wool. I I brought me back to the cold winter morning when I had to go out and get the wool off the sheep. I didn't want to do it, but my mum made me, and I knew I had to do it then. Now, you said in a few interviews that that's it, you're done. But you, the other day you called out Hassan Pike. Uh, Are you done or do you want him? <coughs> I don't care, but I'll fucking. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. The candyman will have to see what happens. Final one. <laughs> have you enjoyed your time here in the UK? And oh, what's your final message to the fans? The UK people are lovely. Best of the earth. I love them. Love you to death there, Royals. And me. Final. final what is it? What? <laughs> What did you say? Final message? Yeah. Uh, final message is look at me neck sweat. <laughs> look at me neck sweat and enjoy it. Look at it. We've got that. We've got that. Oh, look at it. <laughs> oh, yeah, Poppy. You fucking knocked that guy the fuck. Oh, that shit's crazy. But I want to watch this one too. Really? Fuck that. Never. All week you've given Connor's. Listen, we know Connor. Dude, it's too hard. Time. Fuck that. <laughs> I'm done with the character. I'm done with boxing. Fuck it. I'm gonna go smoke cigars, hang out, not do this ever again. Maybe ride my bicycle around town to the shops. <laughs> Woo! Fucking champ, dude. Yeah. So what was it yeah! about tonight that you found kind of the reason why you don't want to continue? Doing it's just the work rate. It's, so, it's just so crazy. The stakes. Like I'm not built for this. <laughs> <laughs> risk, risk, and also the Oh come on, you're gonna fight again. You gotta fight again, bro. You gotta fight again. Bro, Candyman is boxing now. Candyman versus Tyson Fury. How does this compare to your attitude before the fight? I knew, I knew it was hard. I just really wanted to do it because. All right, this stuff isn't that funny. 
it's, you, you gotta do something like this in your life, right? So this is my, my thing. I did it. Goodbye. I'm going to retirement home. You know, etc. This is my this is my bro here. Yo, come in, come in, come in. This is my sp my sparring partner Sean Bay, seven and all, pro heavyweight, the Irish Leopard. Huh? He's the real fighter. He doesn't want to do it no more. He doesn't want to do it no more. Yeah, I mean, if the money's right, he'll do it. No, the money's right, I'll do it. He'll do it. Now you're gonna pay that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. It ain't easy. Pay that man. Character, if they pay me now. I got one. I'm working on this guy, El Paso, Texas. He knows how to make the best salsa. And where my daddy. He's a cattle rustler, you see. You take the poblano, but you can't cut this out of your interview. You take the poblano peppers. You let them get a little bit overripe. That's the trick. That gives them their sweetness. That and the more. Don't cut this out of the interview. No. That and the cut of molasses and brown sugar in every batch. But don't tell them what that's daddy's little secret. Then you take them down the old highway there. It's not on any map. You take them down to the smokehouse. You let those poblano peppers. You can't cut this out. You let those poblano peppers. Oh, my God. What is this shit? You won't believe it. You'll think you're in heaven. Oh, I'll tell you. But I do is hard work. Yes. All right, all right. I'm ending it here. I'm ending it here. Um, he's not. He's tired. He's not really trying to be that funny. And he's after. Well, that was him trying to be funny. But this video is getting too long. All right. I'm out. Peace, y'all.